Welcome back to another video of Brick Builder Daniel. I am sorry I have not made a video in like, I'm going to say two months or so, probably. And as you can see, I'm going to be reviewing the Lego Mystery Machine. And this is actually my second Lego Scooby-Doo set. Though, while I had a friend over, well, he might have accidentally sat on it and kind of totally crushed it. And for more proof, here is the Headless Horseman. So, without further ado, let's get on with the review. No pun intended. So, I'm going to start with the tree robot monster thing. I have no idea what this really is, other than a tree robot monster that's controlled back there. Well, you can see there's a jewel down there, which is obviously what the bad guy right there stole, and you can tell it's not a real zombie, because it's got some pins in the back of its head to reveal the mask. You can see it's a little, it's, it's a zombie minifigure, it's got back printing, and here's the panel that controls the thing from, I think, or something. You can see it's checking down the mystery machine, and speaking of the mystery machine, it is right there. You probably knew that. And the ball joints or the arms they have ball joints and they can swivel around in almost any way same with this side and the leaves that or the stalks of leaves which kind of look a little bit like yours can twist I don't think that's supposed to be like that though it's probably just there it's got a a little bit of a spooky face with these glowing eyes and mouth with big teeth looking wood particles or whatever and it comes on a little gr grass plate and it looks pretty good if you just set it down there like that it looks pretty realistic and now for the mystery machine Alright, the mystery machine is the big thing. That's kind of just a little add-on thing that makes the set more worth the money that you have to spend to get this. Now, um, when you turn, look at the tires, see they're turning. These, I think they're called hubcaps, do not turn with the tires, which I think they are supposed to in real life. All the wheels turn, and it can roll. It's got the little tire area in the front with the spare tire under the very nice printed um, cover piece that usually is used like in a roller or so or something like that. And these are like um, printed too. That is a sticker. That's a sticker. That, 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 um, that. Mo I'm going to say most of the detailing on this is stickers to that, 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 uh, about everything is stickers. So, it also has a um, luggage rack, and um, you can take the roof off, or the top off, and it slides out, and there's some detailing on the wall, stickers too detailing on the wall there too stickers also computer or little tracking device thing it is also a sticker that is a sticker that's printed and I think everything else is pretty much printed um that right there let me get it out here we go it's if the camera focuses, alright, well, it's not really focusing, but it says, Daily Bobbler, tree comes to life, and that's the tree. And it also shows a picture of a scared woman or a zombie or something. It comes with Scooby-Doo. Um, Scooby-Doo has one side that's a little, like, ooh, scared kind of thing. And then the other side's just happy, strolling along kind of thing. 
And he has his front paw up like he's about to um, dash off or something because he's afraid. There's a camera up on the wall. There's a flashlight. And there's also a um, a one of these pieces. And I think they're pretty new. Um, or something like that. They actually magnify their, um, the magnifying glasses actually magnify. Um, it comes with a sandwich here for Scooby-Doo and, um, Shaggy to eat. And, um, the front that is also a sticker. I forgot to point that out. That's a sticker, too. And the characters that brings, or that has in it, is Shaggy. Also has a second face, which is kind of confused. It comes with Fred. Shaggy also has back printing, but it comes with Fred. He has his little um, scarf or whatever it's called. A little bit of back printing too. And he also has a second face which is pretty scared. His front face looks like that. And that just about wraps up the review of the Mystery Machine. And by the way, this does have a booklet there and a booklet there so it has two booklets and it comes with a few spare parts and that sums up our review thanks for watching and bye for now